Morning guys, what's going on? It is Friday morning. It is 6.48 in the morning right now. I'm just packing up for a way trip to Las Vegas. Here's what I'm packing. I'm getting everything laid out just so I don't forget anything. I pretty much got this down to a science now because I think this is like our 10th away trip so far this season. So you just know exactly what you gotta bring. I'm wearing the, uh, the traveling outfit, which is like the Hummel pants that we got, the uh, gray polo, and then we have this quarter zip right here that we can throw on if we want as well. But everything else is gonna be thrown in my backpack. I just bring a backpack and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So here's everything that I'm bringing on this trip. Here's the backpack, so Hummel backpack right there. This is the quarter zip that we can wear in the airport if we want. Got my toiletry bag, computer charger, computer, wallet, keys, AirPods. I got my phone charger with some little customization at the end. Then I have a hoodie for the hotel, some shorts for the hotel, blue polo because of the polo that we wear on game days, a little change in clothes in case I wanna lose money afterwards down in Las Vegas on the Strip some uh, change of underwear and socks. So that's everything that I bring. Everything else I need for the game, like our boots, shin guards, um, all of the kit, our compression shorts, like the GPS training tops, our training gear, all that kind of stuff, that's all brought by the staff. So it's pretty nice, you can travel pretty well. Here's breakfast, we have three eggs over medium with some spinach and some Cholula sauce, some blueberries, an orange. Uh, we have this Greek yogurt Chobani zero sugar toasted coconut vanilla flavor. And then we have a latte and in the coffee art, I'm seeing, um, uh, the, I'm seeing the guy who had Lord Voldemort on his uh, the back of his head, what's his name? Professor Quill with the wand and the, uh, the turban thing. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So that's breakfast. So July is gonna be a crazy month for us with travel. I mean, last weekend we flew all the way to Tulsa, played in like 95 degree heat, flew all the way back, and then we had a few days of training. As you're about to see, we're gonna fly all the way out to Las Vegas, fly all the way back, get back at like midnight, have a few days of training, and then we fly all the way out to San Antonio, Texas, and play probably in 100 degree plus heat, and then come back. So. Tons of heat, it's gonna be tiring with that. Tons of travel, tons of layovers. It's just gonna be a difficult month. I am gonna eat this breakfast and then probably just make sure I have everything and then uh, head out here soon. Okay, well my yogurt's expired. So <laughs> that's not, that's not, that's not good. Oh, I hate yogurt too. This is a good start to the trip. <laughs> Vlog coming out to Las Vegas. Bevo! Se va, se va. That's disgusting, Connor. <laughs> Cash money, baby. How am I for you? Hey, hey, good first flight. Hey, how's it going, man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, man? You have a good first flight? I did. Very did you good. watch? Uh, nothing. Actually, yeah. You just stared ahead of you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, for four and a half hours? I was looking at you, but you didn't turn around, so I was kind of safe. You know? Damn. So, I should have checked my shoulder more. You know what? Nice little chicken sandwich, Robin. Chicken sandwich. <laughs> Burger over there. <laughs> Anton with a nice salad. What a pro. Some of us. Here we go. Flight number two. With my buddy.
Before we get into the rest of the away trip, I want to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Be Your Best. If you're tired of constantly turning into your opponent and losing the ball, or annoyed at having to apologize to your teammate for making a bad decision, then Be Your Best could be for you. Be Your Best is football training in virtual reality, and it's made by a team of football and technology experts from Norway, helping you to improve your cognitive performance. The main skill that Be Your Best improves is your scanning, but it also improves players' vision, decision-making, and memory, allowing you to train these difficult skills from from home anytime you want. In Be Your Best main training mode called Scenario Training, you'll play through over 800 scenarios recreated from real life professional games, like this one featuring Modric. You'll be on the field playing the game from a player's first person perspective as you complete scenarios and receive feedback based on your performance. They've also just released a secondary mode called Match Play, which aims to replicate the experience of a real game. This mode gives you complete control over your movement, both on and off the ball, helping to improve your all around positional awareness. Match Play is the closest thing I've seen to FIFA in the VR world so far, and what's even better is it can even help improve your game. Now, Be Your Best has been used by amateur and professional players all over the world, with Arsenal star Martin Odegaard training with it during his injury period, and Germany's U17 squad training with Be Your Best prior to them winning the European Championship. It's also backed by science, with a recent nine-week study seeing players who train with it improve their scan rate by 28%. And now you can get 10% off your first month or your first year by using my discount code ELITE10 at checkout. Just go to beyourbest.com to get started or click the link in my description. Thank you once again to Be Your Best for sponsoring this video. Hey, after, hey hold on, let me, let me vlog, bro. After, <laughs> after 12 hours, we made it to, uh, to Vegas. It's 115 degrees out right now. It's fantastic. Uh, it was a long trip though. Layover in Denver. We got here. It was good. I got a lot of work done. I, I did a full game analysis, and then I uh, I watched like that Breakpoint documentary, which was fantastic. I love those sports documentaries just because they have so much about the mental side of the game. But now we're in uh, Las Vegas. Kevin, now you can talk. Now you can talk. I'm done. This is hard. I'm done. I'm done. This is this is hard. After five hours of your vlog. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm done. Now I'm we're done. in this hot city. You like it? It's hot. <laughs> it's it hot. hot. We're in the shade too. It's hot. Connor, this is your weather? This is the worst weather. Are you guys hot? I uh, want to tell everybody uh, how our tennis match went the other day. Yeah, I dominated. I, I compared myself to a young Carlos Alcaraz. Who would you say that your game most likely re uh, represents, resembles? Uh, Gael Monfils. Wow. Don't know who that is, but I'm... I'm... It's very French. Very athletic. Mm. Tall. Lanky. <laughs> so we just got to the hotel room. It is six o'clock in the evening. We were supposed to land a little bit earlier and then we were supposed to go straight to the field to get a training session in. Um, but it being 115 degrees delayed in, in time kind of running thin, plus the Friday night traffic of the Strip in Las Vegas, um, everything got pushed back. So we decided that we're just gonna come straight here, do a little activation, yoga, kind of mobility stuff before dinner, have dinner, and then we're gonna be good for the night. So really long day. It's been about 13, 13 and a half hours since uh, I left my house this morning, but we made it. You're so judgmental with your look over there. Just focus on your own thing. Let me do my thing. <laughs> how, was the, how was the travel trip for you? Sponsored by Electrolyte. Sponsor this. The Electrolyte. Street. Electrolyte. Electrolyte Zero. Sponsored. It, could you imagine if they reach out to me and actually want to sponsor a uh, video? Electrolyte Zero. Uh, tastes <laughs> like butt. <laughs> <laughs> Adjoining rooms. <laughs> no, on camera right here. Yeah, how was the travel? Hey, you would love to be shirtless uh, in my video. Yeah. Uh, the travel was... Antoine just locked me out, bro. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a... <laughs> he's five years old. <laughs> Antoine, you're five years old. <laughs> How was the travel for you? Good? It was horrible. Nice 13 hours? Terrible. Richie, how's the travel for you today? Ah, uh, long. Very long. <laughs> Imagine I could be in Paris. It's hot out there. Bro. Huh? This is the hottest weather I've ever been in my life. Man, I could be in Paris. <laughs> 115. Triple digits. 
I've never been, I've been, I think the highest I've ever been is like 111, 112. Yeah, I've good. never been 115 before. <laughs> That's the point of a vlog, is you share the whole day. Here's uh, Matt Sheldon getting his hair ready for his big vlog day. He's got to make sure he looks good. He's going to put a little water on it. Shut her up, baby. What are the people going to see at Antoine Hokuto vlog? This is my vlog right here. Yeah, no, it's, not, it's not a vlog. So, Matt, like how does it feel about, you know, being vlogging in Vegas? Feels good, man. Feels good. I'll feel a little better if we win today. That'd be nice. It's 8.30 in the morning, almost 9. Uh, which is like 12 o'clock for us back in uh, Hartford. <laughs> and uh, I'm hungry, so we're gonna go, go get breakfast. I just probably got like 11 hours of sleep last night. So I'm happy about that. How about you? I got like eight and a half maybe. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, it's only 99 outside at oh, 8.54 in the morning. Let's see. Oh, we got some cloud cover today. And back to sun right when the game starts. 110. 112 at kickoff. Probably 106 by the end of the game. Damn. <laughs> What'd you like about Fremont Street? It's a good environment. <laughs> I, like the, I like the zip lining. Family, uh, yeah, good, good, clean family fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We just finished breakfast. We had a team meeting where we went over some set pieces, some video and stuff. We did a team walk. And then as you saw, we did some like team activation, which is like the, we did some yoga, some mobility, some uh, band exercises, and then finished it with what you guys saw, just like that header tournament, header challenge competition thing, which was pretty fun. Um, and again, we had a little speech afterwards. Our coach, um, I mean, was just pretty much saying like, look, you know, Las Vegas is a very distracting place. It's very fun. And, and as you guys, you know, we're walking around, the lights are going off and there's crazy people everywhere. and and everything and there's like casinos and in, in the lobbies of our hotels but it's it is a business trip at the end of the day and you, know, you have to come here and win and perform so it's like now it's like just in the hotel room just chilling in the AC relaxing hanging out um, and just preparing so I think you know I'm feeling pretty good body's feeling good I've drank a ton of water my electrolyte drink had that and now it's just kind of hanging out and waiting for uh, for kickoff I think so much about being a pro and just an athlete in general is being able to like switch on between having fun goofing off and then completely switch on towards like performing, competing and taking it very seriously. Like, it's like even in training, like rondos before training or something, you can goof off, nutmeg somebody, pull down someone's pants or whatever when you nutmeg them and you're kind of goofing off and having fun. But as soon as that training starts, as soon as, as, soon as you go into tactical or whatever, it's completely switched on, focused, taking it seriously, trying to compete, trying to win and uh, cause this is your job. And then as soon as it's over, you have a water break or something, you could switch off for a second, but you just have to get really good at switching on and switching off with your mentality of, of joking and then taking it seriously. So now, like I said, I'm gonna be here in the bed watching probably Zoe Sunny in Philadelphia. Um, 
maybe some more of like those documentaries on Netflix or something. And uh, just waiting, hanging out until lunch. Then we wait and hang out until our team snack. And then we wait and hang out until we leave for the game. So we got some waiting and hanging out to do today. Little Jimmy John's for the snack. Snack. So we passed out for a little bit, then we had lunch, and I forgot to uh, film anything at lunch, which was your standard lunch that we have always, which is like grilled chicken, salmon, uh, some vegetables, brown rice, or actually we have potatoes today, some pasta, and some fruit. So that was, uh, that was lunch. Now it is almost five o'clock, which means about 40 minutes we have our team meeting to go over the last bit of tactical information before we head out to the stadium. Um, so I'm gonna start the, my, my my pre-game routine, which is showering, getting all freshened up, packing up, and then, uh, then we're about to head out. So let's do it. Vegas continues to threat. Deep line from Hartford. It's a free header and it's a good save from Joe Rice. He got a hand to it to deny Bushu the third phase of that corner kick. And this is a great ball from Carroll to the back post and a good header. You've done everything right. Here is another Jarito's corner kick. Fourth of the night will be delivered by Ingram. I went to the back post, another header, that's cleared off the line. It hits the chest and then is ultimately cleared, second chance. Yeah, he's just peeled back. No, it's Zach Carroll, he's peeled back. Best chance tonight for Hartford. And might not be over yet, it's hit and it's in. Vegas was slow to step out on that and from distance, a well hit goal. Juan Pablo Torres. The For me, I'd, I want to see the replay because did it take a deflection? Because Leo Diaz seemed to be on his back foot. He is the, here's the right angle we need to see. Juan Pablo Torres has hit it and it's deflected off Zali. There's nothing Leo Diaz can do about it. Of the variety. Now it's Sadie on his left, just past the far post. Good hit from Sadie. And obviously that was just like a two-minute thing, so we're not suggesting that for a second because you've seen the way this team's played the last two weeks. They definitely are playing for the coach. Great first ball. It's Prince Sadie. Good hand from Diaz. The Argentine keeps it out with his right palm. Best save of the night for Leo Diaz. Here comes Tabor Tataka Preston. He is bending it, and it's right at Joe Rice at the near post. I step over there from... Andrew Carlton, it's still Carlton. He goes for a goal and it's a good save. He may have seen it late, but a strong hand from Joe Rice. This occasion, nothing else in his mind, but he's, he's knuckle puck that, hasn't he? It's been like now the ninth corner kick of the night for Las Vegas Lights. And that's headed on goal and saved by Rice. Very wide open game here. Good slip ball. It's Edwards. Good sliding challenge. Edwards back to his feet. He has scored. Spectacular balance there from Kyle Edwards. The substitute has the goal scoring touch. His seventh of the season. And Vegas had pushed forward to find the tying goal. And now they face a two goal deficit. Kabato, I thought the pass was right. He played it to Edwards. It was the right ball in the end. A decent tackle from Zali, but unfortunately it falls straight back to Edwards. And just two days ago for New Mexico United on loan, he came off the bench in the first half, and there's the full-time whistle. 
Hart for Oh look at that. <laughs> oh damn. Just got back to the hotel room. It is like 10 o'clock at night. Great win, great victory, great shutout. Um, really good performance, uh, defensively, really good performance. And then we counterattacked at the right moments and scored. So yeah, I'm happy, that was a very good win. Um, now uh, I'm gonna eat the little food that we got and then uh, try to probably win a little bit of money on the blackjack table, most likely. Every time I've played roulette, I've lost money. So blackjack seems to be my, uh, my game, but you know, if you're watching this and you're younger, be responsible, and you gamble, all that kind of stuff. Be smart. Uh, don't bet more than you can lose. But I'm gonna enjoy Vegas with the team a little bit. And uh, we actually have a later flight tomorrow. So I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning. Dre Smooth. <laughs> What's up? Overall, Robin, did you make money or lose money last night? I lose. You lost? I won money, baby! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> that's not true. We all know that's not true. Yeah, you can make your own reality, man. He's down. Pretty bad. What a snitch. You did this thing, man. Uh, we, won't, we won't send money. We won't send money. <laughs> his, his wife knows. What about you? Overall, I'm down. You're down? Yeah. yeah. That's how it is, bro. So. What can you do? What can you do? Look who we got, look who we got. <laughs> How's it been going, Jesse? Good, good, no, I'm trying to get better. Hey, oh, you've just been scoring goals, getting yeah, assists, everything's been going well, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're just trying to get some wins and move up the table. There we go, it's good to see you, bro. Good to see you. <laughs> All right, just got to uh, my car in the parking lot. It is 1.40 in the morning. So it's been a very, very long travel day. I'm very tired. Um, I got still like a 30 minute plus drive back home. So I'll probably get home around like 2.15, so yeah. All right, just getting home right now. It is 2.19 in the morning. Um, so a very long day of travel. We had like a couple delays. We had uh, sitting in the airplane for like for 30 minutes before it took off for some reason. We had a long layover in Chicago, um, but I made it. Made it back home all safe and sound, which is good. Uh, and, and the whole trip, I mean, it's perfectly fine. I'll do that whole trip every single weekend if it means we get three points every weekend. So really happy to do that. So I'm going to pass out and then uh, sleep in tomorrow. And uh, then we're back into training on Tuesday. And then next weekend, we fly out to San Antonio, Texas. So another long away trip, third away trip in a row, so that's gonna be another grind and hopefully we get some more points. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the away trip vlog. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right guys, peace.